tell me, how's uh, things in Corvallis these days? Uh, as long as it's not raining, everything is, is great, you know, got a great community. It's a safe place to be, and no better place to be than Corvallis. How would you compare Corvallis to your hometown? Corvallis is it, a lot slower than Texas. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. People is nice, everybody supports you around there. Tell us about like the, uh, the, the Texas football experience. You know, I mean, Texas is so famous for you know, top athletes um, and, and early you know, youth athletes performing and, and growing into the NFL. Well, we start football around six and seven years old, so that helped us out a lot. But just playing in a high school stadium, you have five and 6,000 fans there every game, and, and you go farther into the playoffs. I think my state game, we had 11,000 fans there, so that's a big deal. And I look at Oregon, where the, stand, the stadium is so small, I, I'm wondering, like, man, that many people come to y'all game? Because I'm used to some, like, a big crowd. Tell us, uh, you know, who's your inspiration? Um, my mother. I love her with my heart. She's a hard-working woman who raised four kids and just did a great job with us. And that's, I, I owe most of my success to her. Are you uh, uh, thinking about, you know, your mom out on the field when you're having those big days? Yes, because, uh, you know, if I keep doing good on the field, I, w I know it will pay off in the future, which can help her, help her in the long run and give back to her. What's your ambition now? Well, for me, I just try to get better every day I go out because I know every every year is going to be that new person who try to take the limelight from you and try to uh, be the top running back. So I think that's my fuel to my fire. If you were to give some advice to the uh, kids in the audience that might want to, you know, be like you and and rise up to be, you know, a star, whether it be in college or in, you know, even moving out of the pros, what would that be? For the main thing is you just got to be good on the field and off the field. Have good grades, because it's not just all about football. You got to have them grades to be able to play football and be able to get on the field. But as for me, how I got this far, I just work hard and I try to I work that next person. And even though I was the, one of the best on my team, I tried to, I looked at myself as competing against the nation and trying to be one of the top players around the nation mm -hmm. instead of just locally. Okay. And so uh, is there a, uh, a certain nutrition regimen you have, a, a nutrition regimen you have in terms of staying healthy and keeping fit? Well, for me, I can eat about anything because I burn off the fat easy if I do eat unhealthy food, but I try to, I run at least five times a week and lift weights five times a week just to keep in shape. Mm -hmm. Is there any other, uh, um, you know, advice you might want to give to, you know, kids watching in the audience and, and what they ought to think about as they move through the ranks? Well, just keep your head on the right path and don't get lured into all the negative things around you and great things that happen for you. Um, one last thing, uh, I guess on a positive note about the, the city and the town of Corvallis. You know, tell us all the great things about Corvallis. Well, for the most part, we got great fans because I, I don't think it's a, a professional team there other than a soccer team. So it's either you're an Oregon State fan or, or a Ducks fan. So we got great fan support and just the people around there just welcome you with open hands. If, um, if the NFL wasn't... Um, you know, in, in your future, what would be? Uh, I would have to say uh, coaching, coaching on a high school level and going back to my high school and just helping kids get to the level, get to the college level. Mm -hmm.